Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Nadira Meiza Fariozi. And my name is Mikal Anargia. And, and we, we are, are the winners of English competitions throughout 2023. So today we're going to talk about our experiences throughout these competitions. First thing first, Mika, I heard that you won Education Festival 2023 in Bogor, right? Yes, I did. How did you feel about winning? So, for, first of all, I felt very grateful and I felt appreciative and thankful for my parents for supporting me and also for my mentor, Mr. Bagus. And at first, I also felt very joyous, joyous because throughout 2023, I didn't managed to win any trophies or any competitions and that made me you know a little bit sad but after winning the speech competition last week I managed to become more confident and I learned a lot from it and I also felt well just very very confident again for the better future yeah and also how about you do you have the same experience well this competition is actually the peak for me this galaxy competition because it is international and i have joined many competitions throughout 2023 or actually when i am in middle school right now and this competition made me like oh my god okay this is like real <laughs> yeah and i need yeah. to work hard for this and i need to know what these grammars are i need to know what these terms are which make my pressure go very high <laughs> and yeah, i also had the same experience <laughs> yes and after winning this it was all done and i was very happy and i was very grateful for knowing that i have the ability to win this right. yeah so mika um what was your preparation for this so well, my preparations for the actual competition, uh, I actually enjoyed the process more, uh, you know, how I practice and rehearse my text. But uh, my experience in education is that uh, at first I felt very nervous and uh, I realized that my preparations really helped me throughout uh, my competition because uh, I prepared since last August and Pretty much my work routine was, you know, seeing other people's videos of speech and also it's more of my, you know, perspective, like how I state my experiences so that, you know, I can get the judges to know that, oh, so this is what he actually experienced. And also I feel like the hard work and the effort that I put into my practice and real also, also helped me. Uh, you know, prepare for the competition. And that's pretty much how I feel like I managed to have a good confidence boost later on in the competition because uh, I felt really, really nervous. Like, there were a lot of competitors and they were really good with their speech, but what I presented in front of the uh, judges in the stage, it was not as nerve wracking anymore because. Uh, I realized that you really, really need that confidence so that, you know, we don't get stuck. <laughs> and so, how about you? What did you prepare to for Galicia or the other English competitions that you went through? Well, I see that we have the same vision. Because when I was joining that competition, I felt unwell because I was ill. Then, I had to have this vision that Okay, I don't need to be nervous. I need to face this. If I avoid it, then how come we finish this competition? Uh, yeah, we need right? to face our fears, right? Yeah, yeah, we need to face our fears. Which was the start of gro going through, go through this, these questions and answering them and doing these essays. As what Mika said, that it's all about our perspective, that it's through the judge's eyes. Mm, yeah. Okay. The um. Well, how about the journey, the struggles? What did you feel? So throughout my journeys and struggles, I actually learned a lot of moral values, and one of the first things for me is never giving up. See, 
Back then, when I joined my other competitions, I wasn't as passionate about it. And I easily gave up and just said, you know, oh, man, this is so hard. I don't think I'm going to win. But after quite a while, after talking with my mentor, Mr. Bagus, and also, you know, discussing the matter, I realized that pretty much what I learned is that hard work and also never giving up is an important factor to your, uh, pretty much to your uh, competition. And without it, I don't think you could achieve uh, something greater. And I feel like uh, with how uh, my mentor, Mr. Vogel's help, I won't be here today. And that's why I feel like uh, hard work and also never giving up is a good trait. Yes, and also, what, how about you? What were the things that you managed to learn throughout the competitions? Well, throughout these competitions, I managed to learn that this is just a competition. I don't need to be emotional about it. Because this, if we lose, then okay, I need to do better. And if I win, okay, I am going to stay like this. I am going to keep it stable. It's a normal thing, right? Yeah, it yeah. is a normal thing. But I did feel a little bit sad, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I felt that too when I was in 7th grade. Yeah. yeah, and right now I'm in ninth grade and I felt like, okay, um, this is cool and I need to be cool about it. I need to think smart. I need to know how to manipulate the themes. I need to know how to play with it. I need to know how to make this situation clear and through through all my descriptions. Mm, yeah. Like that. So amidst all of that, Mika, do you have anything you want to say to the Matsagens? So as I said before, if you truly want to achieve your goals, I feel like you need to first be passionate about it, and secondly, keep working hard and never give up. That's it. Yeah. Okay. And then mine is, as I said before, as I've said before too, is to think smart, work smart, do not waste your time on things that are useless. Know what you research and. Think about this situation and how do you change it? How do you manipulate it with your own ways, not other people's ways? Because other people's ways may not be effective to you yourself. Yeah. And that's a that's wrap. <laughs> thank you for watching this and thank you for the chance of Matsao Munewa for giving us this podcast. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.